Hello everyone, in this video we will study about mobility. So mobility is something like uh, moving from one place to another place that we call it as a mobile or it is also called as a portable. So here we have a spectrum of mobility from the network perspective. There are two kinds of perspective, first one is uh, no mobility and the second one is high mobility. We can see that here, here we have the first thing as no mobility where mobile wireless users using same access point. It means that it is not a portable device. So it is uh, fixed at some location and it is going to get its signals from a single access point every time. So that kind of uh, device we call it as a uh, stable one or it is a fixed device and it does not move from one place to another place. So it has, a, it has no mobility at all. The second kind is high mobility. In this case it is continuously moving from one place to another place. There is no fixed place that it is going to stay. So that kind of uh, device we call it as a mobile device or a mobile user. So here mobile user passing through the multiple access points while maintaining ongoing connections. Example is cell phone. So if you are traveling in a, a vehicle, the suppose you are traveling in a train or a bus. In that case it is moving continuously. When it is moving continuously, it will get the signals to your cell phones from multiple access points. That is, uh, you get the signals from certain area. As soon as you move from more out of that area, it will get connected to some other access point. So every time the point of contact it is going to change. So, so the user, mobile user is going to get the uh, signals from multiple access points while maintaining the ongoing connection. You are continuously talking over the phone and even though you change the network, call is going to continue. The call is not going to be shut down next, it is going to continue, no. The call is, is still, continue. you are continuously talking over the phone and you are getting connected to multiple access points at the same time. So here we consider that kind of device as a high mobility device. So you are going to consider them as the mobile users. So we have one more category it is going to lie between no mobility and high mobility. The third one is uh, uh, a mobile user connecting or disconnecting from network using DHCP protocol. This kind of device uh, we can take the example of a laptop. Laptop is a portable device. So whenever we are in one of the network we will use, we'll get the signals from that particular access point. Suppose we carry it to some other network and from that network we get the signals. So there is a disconnect connecting and disconnecting from that particular network. So we have a mobile user connecting or disconnecting from a network using DHCP protocol. DHCP is a dynamic host configuration protocol. So what is the functionality of this is? Uh, this protocol, it will help a mobile device to adapt itself to that particular environment to which it is going to enter. Suppose so we are in one of the network and uh, you are moving, you, are, you want to move from that network to some other network. As soon as you come to some other network, uh, the DHCP protocol it's going to allocate an IP address to that uh, particular mobile device so if you have a network and whenever any node that is any device that's going to uh, that want to join that particular network it will be assigned with a new IP address so that IP address is assigned by using the dynamic host configuration protocol next we have the mobility and we have the vocabulary. Vocabulary is so here we are going to discuss some of the terminologies that we are going to use while learning this mobility. There are two kinds of networks that we are going to learn here. The first kind of network we are going to study here is home network. So here we have a diagram. This, uh, this part we are going to consider it as a home network. In home network we have a device here. This is a mobile device. It can move from one network to another network. This is a portable device which is currently residing in one of the network. So this network we call it as a home network. There are two kinds of network, one is home and more is the foreign network. So home network is the one, uh, suppose we have our cell phone which uh, has, in, which we, for which we have inserted a SIM card, for, we have already inserted the SIM card. So when you switch it on for the first time, when uh, it is going to get the signals, from which network it is going to get the signal, that network we call it as a home network and it is a permanent address for that particular device. So even though you move from that place to some other place, its permanent address is going to be fixed. It is not going to change at all. So that kind of address we call it as a permanent address. So permanent address is the address in home network that can be used to reach the mobiles. For example, this is the permanent address. So if you have the permanent address, you can always reach the 
uh, that particular uh, mobile device even though that device is uh, moving from that place to some other place. Next we have the home agent here. Home agent it is an entity that will perform the mobility function on behalf of the mobile while mobile is remote. That is this is a agent that helps in performing the mobility function. Uh, so it is going to keep track where the mobile device is moving within its network. So this is the functionality of home agent. So all the information that are related to this mobile uh, device it is stored in the mobile agent. So these are some uh, three terminologies that we have to uh, know in case of home network. So when we consider it with a real time example, the one uh, where we are going to reside permanently that address we call it as a home that ho that that home is called as a home network and that address is called as a permanent address so here we have a family member who is going to keep track of where we are moving from which location to which location we are traveling all that information is maintained or it can be known to one person within that particular home that particular person is called as a home agent so here we have one more kind of network that network is a visited network the other name for this visited network is the foreign network it is a network in which the mobile is currently residing so you yeah, are moved from your home to some other uh, uh, place and that place we call it as a visited network in case of visited network we have a care of address that is uh, right now we are moved from that place to some other place and uh, you are residing there and you are continuing your work so the place you are residing uh, right now it has some kind of address that address we call it as a care of address that address uh, you can use it only till you are residing in that place as soon as you leave that place the your care of address is going to change so here permanent address is the fixed address whereas care of address is a temporary address so it is going to change continuously as you move from that location to some other location next we have the foreign agent this agent is similar to that of the home agent which is going to keep track of your movements or all kind of information when you are residing in that particular network next we have the correspond correspondent this is the mobile device that want to communicate with other mobile devices in the network suppose we have uh, this is the mobile device and this is the device which want to communicate with this device if there is some more other device if this device want to communicate with that particular mobile device so correspondent is a general term that is used that is used uh, whenever a node or a device that want to communicate with some other node so here we have a scenario in this scenario consider a friend frequently changing their addresses how do you find her so you have some childhood friend and you want to contact them and but that person is going to change their address uh, continuously that is uh, that person is moving from one location to another location and they are changing it continuously how do you find her uh, the real time solution to them is search in the phone books for that particular context or you are going to call her parents and their parents will know about uh, the your friend's location and they will inform you except her to let you know where he or she is that is uh, she uh, she is going to inform where she is currently that is for whom you are searching they are going to inform you where they are exactly so these are some of the solutions to this problem but how the system is going to handle it how the system will know where the other device or other mobile device is located this is done through the router so we know that router it will maintain a routing table that table contains some kind of information about the routers and that kind of information is shared among the, the different routers that is uh, uh, it, the information is shared between the neighbors so here routing table uh, they are going to exchange that information with their neighbors after certain amount of time that is uh, after regular amount of time they are going to exchange the information so along with that kind of information the routers they are going to advertise even the permanent address of the mobile nodes in their residence so if, uh, if uh, any mobile node is uh, uh, residing in their uh, network they are going to exchange even the, that kind of information while exchanging the routing information so here uh, routing table indicates where each mobile load is located and it does not indicate or it is not going to make any changes to the end systems so router we know that it is an intermediate device which is going to help which will help to connect the end systems but how the end system is going to handle this mobility it is done through two cases first one is a indirect routing and the second one is direct routing indirect routing it is a communication from correspondent 
to the mobile goes through the home agent so we have the intermediate node that we call it as a home agent then forwarded it to the remote the second one is direct routing the correspondent gets the foreign address of the mobile nodes and sends a message directly to the mobile node so we'll study these two approaches briefly here first one is uh, uh, before going through those two kinds of routing we are going to do the first step that is a registration what is this registration is we have two kinds of network here one is a home network the second one is visited network right now we can see a, a device which is located in the home network home network we know that it is a permanent address to that particular mobile device visited network is uh, the current location where that mobile device is located so suppose you are moving from your home to some location as soon as you go to that location you are going to inform your home about that particular address where you are residing right now so how this is done as soon as you move to some other network that is a visited network you are going to contact a person and you will get the address that here you are residing after residing in you are residing in someone's home or a hostel and you are going to get that particular address from the warden or the uh, some person who is residing in that home so here you can check here as soon as you move to some other location you get the uh, location information where you are residing right now from some agent that agent we call it as a for foreign agent because it is a visited network as soon as it gets the information what this foreign agent does it is going to inform back to the home agent that one of your mobile node with a certain kind of information it is storing it is uh, currently residing in my particular network so foreign agent contacts the home agent and this mobile is currently residing in my particular network so this information is conveyed to the home agent so while conveying the information it is going to send the current care of address of this particular mobile device so you can see it here end result is foreign agent here we have the foreign agent this agent knows about the mobile device that is currently residing within its network and home agent knows the location of the mobile device so home agent it knows where currently that mobile device is uh, residing so we will just study the first uh, method that is the indirect routing so in this kind of routing we have the home network and the visited network there is a correspondent this person want to know the address or uh, it want to convey some message to the person who is uh, here this is a mobile node and this is the correspondent so current uh, correspondent want to communicate with the mobile node but correspondent doesn't know where that uh, mobile node is located right, right now so but the correspondent knows the permanent address of the uh, mobile node so what this correspondent does is correspondent sends a um, datagram to the permanent address indicating that uh, i want to communicate with you now here the source address we can consider it as a correspondent address and destination address is mobile nodes permanent address so as soon as the home network receives the packet it will just go through that packet and it knows that uh, the packet has to be delivered to the mobile node so what it does is it's going to get the care of address of that particular mobile node because already the registration has been done and it knows the care of address of this particular mobile node so it is going to encapsulate the uh, the correspondent packet within that uh, within a new uh, packet that is uh, we have a N suppose here here we have the correspondent who has sent a envelope to uh, envelope to home agent on top of that it's going to cover one more envelope indicating the home source address as home network address and destination ad is the care of address of that particular mobile node so as soon as the packet reaches the foreign agent foreign agent it will look for the destination address and it will give it to the mobile node or the mobile agent so what this mobile node does is it's going to decrypt that is decapsulate it's going to cover remove the first cover and it knows that the packet has been received from the correspondent so what this does is it's going to reply back to the correspondent so foreign agent receives the packet and forward the packets to the mobile node mobile node it's going to decapsulate it and it's going to send the message directly to the correspondent so here correspondent uh, it uh, asks for the home network home network will communicate to the visited network and visited network it has replied so here we can see it as a triangle shape so it is also called as a triangular routing 
so here we can see it, it has a triangle routing so we are going to use two kinds of addresses here one is a permanent address and one more is the care of address so where we are going to use the permanent address so for um, correspondent to the home network we are going to use the permanent address from home network to the visited network we are going to use the correspondent address so here we use the concept of triangular routing its correspondent home network mobile so what is the drawback of this indirect routing in this indirect routing suppose that we assume that this correspondent and a mobile node they both are in on a same network suppose that this correspondent is also present within this visited network in that case it doesn't know the address of this particular uh, mobile node so what it does it will directly contact the home network home network it is going to reply back to the uh, the same network again so always communication occurs through the home network whenever the correspondent want to communicate with the uh, uh, visited network uh, visit with the mobile node it will always go through the home network so here the com even though they both are within the same network they are unable to communicate directly so this is the drawback with respect to the indirect routing so to overcome this we are going for the direct routing what happens in direct routing uh, here in case of direct routing uh, we can see here step 1 2 3 and 4 what is the first step we have the correspondent that want to communicate with the mobile node so first it will ask for the uh, home network for the address of this mobile node so what this home network does is it has a care of address of that particular mobile node so it is replied back to the correspondent with the care of address that is the foreign address of the mobile so as soon as it gets the care of address it will directly send the message to that particular care of address so that it will contact that mobile node and mobile node has directly replied back to the correspondent there is no intermediate home network here every time the communication takes place between the correspondent and the mobile node directly so we can see the same thing here there is a direct communication between the correspondent and the mobile node next we have again one more problem here the problem is here the correspondent knows the care of address of this particular mobile node what if this mobile node changes its network it currently it is residing in this particular visited network what if it moves from this network to some other network how the correspondent will know that particular care of address so this problem it can be solved by using the anchor foreign agent so what is this anchor foreign agent this is a kind of agent uh, suppose we have the uh, anchor foreign agent is see currently we have the home network and this is the first visited network of that particular mobile node or uh, still certain amount of time it was completely residing in the network and suddenly that mobile node it moves from home network to the visited network so the first visited network of that particular mobile node it is considered as an anchor foreign agent so the only the first visited network is considered as the anchor foreign agent so here we have the anchor foreign agent which is a foreign agent in which it is a first visited network of that particular mobile node so here we have the uh, correspondent and here we have the foreign uh, anchor foreign agent suppose uh, right now the mobile node is uh, located in this particular network and suppose it moves from this network to some new network this is a new network where uh, the mobile device has moved as soon as it moves to the network it will inform to the anchor agent about that so how this is done it will con uh, as soon as it moves uh, to the new foreign network it will contact the new foreign agent new foreign agent it will reply back to the anchor foreign agent so these two nodes uh, or to uh, these two uh, nodes they can directly contact with the with each other if, if suppose it moves from this network to some other network then in that case uh, the new foreign agent of that particular network and the anchor agent they are going to communicate so always the correspondent gets the address so the care of address from the uh, anchor foreign agent so the first foreign uh, first foreign network the mobile node has visited from there it's going to get the correct care of address of that particular mobile device so this chain is going to continue so here we have a question explain mobility via direct and indirect routing thank you